Bienvenidos, hoy vamos a hablar de las descripciones de la gente como color de pelo, estatura, edad, tener con un adjetivo, también las diferencias entre tener y ser, as well as when to use tener and when to use ser. Now let's look at some of the verbs we're going to be using and their conjugations. First verb is going to be tener and it's going to be an ER verb conjugated below. Also you want to make note that it changes, stem changes from an E to an IE and the other conjugations will continue to be there throughout the video for you to refer back to if you need help. Ser and tener will be used for descriptions of people, but let's look at some examples so we can differentiate between the two. Usando ser, podemos decir que Margarita es la joven, que su mamá Luisa es una mujer, y su padre Pedro es un hombre, y su hermano también es un joven. So as you can see, ser here is being used to describe the person's age, Nothing specific, but the net could also be used when it comes to age. Es una joven y tiene 17 años. Here I am using said, es una joven, to say she is a young girl, but I'm also using the net to say that she has 17 years of age. Otro ejemplo. El camarero es viejo y tiene pelo canoso. Again, I'm using said to say el camarero es viejo to say that the waiter is old, but I am also using tener to say that he has gray hair. Ahora, más ejemplos con ser y tener. Yo soy alto o alta, tú eres bajo o baja, ella es guapa o bonita, nosotros somos simpáticos o simpáticas, ellas son flojos o flojas. So as we can see with said, a lot of uses revolve around someone's physical description or their estatura, such as alto or bajo, and also other characteristics that are more internal. For example, simpáticos and flojos. Now let's do some examples with tener. Tengo el pelo rubio, tienes el pelo corto. Here short means in terms of hair length, not in terms of height. Tiene los ojos marrones. Tenemos la nariz muy grande. Ellas tienen 16 años. When using tener, always make sure your adjective is in agreement with the noun that it's describing. For example, tengo el pelo rubio. Regardless of whether you're male or female, you want to say tengo el pelo rubio if you have blonde hair because the rubio will reflect the noun that it's talking about, el pelo. Ahora tú inténtalo. Use some of the descriptions below to describe some of the people in the following scene. But first, let me give you an example. Como pueden ver, Gloria no es una cantante. Gloria también tiene el pelo castaño. So as you can see from the video, Gloria isn't a great singer, and she also has brown hair, which is what I'm using as my example. Try some examples of your own. Si necesitas más tiempo, puedes hacer una pausa. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video. Gracias por ver mi video. Twinkle, 